Now, listen up. Move aside one second. Watch this. I'm going to ask you if you've ever held a snake. If you haven't, that's okay. You can eat. Fires are for birthday parties. The green ones are for everything else. For schools, camps, malls. We do Del Amo Mall. We do everything. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, church festivals, bazaars, libraries, country clubs, swap meets, rest homes, convalescent homes. We go from kids one year old to 103 years old. We're at schools every single day. But do not take the papers and throw them down and make trash. Here, Michael, bring it here. When they wrap around you, they're not trying to choke you. They wrap around because they want to get warm. They want to get the heat. You can call me Rambo. <laughs> now, put your hand above your other arm like this. Do you feel heat? No, you don't. You're not Italian. Put your hand down like this. Now you feel? So when the snake wraps around you, it's not trying to choke you. It wants to get warm. It goes, I feel good. Now, remember, if the snake wraps around your neck, don't panic. Don't come to me going, this man's like, it's choking me to death. I'm going to die. I'm going to go, no, you're not. You go like this. I can breathe. If you're turning purple, you come to me. Down your shirt. Ah. In your pants. Ooh la la. Dumpy will jump to your face. Do not panic. He will not fall. He sticks to wood, glass, plastic, concrete, stucco. Whatever he jumps to, he sticks to like this. You just go, you go, Dumpy, this is not a good time to be on my face. Now, Dumpy feels like a gummy bear, but you do not eat him. He is also potty trained, I hope. Now, when you're done, he will automatically crawl up your arm and go to your shoulder to the top of your head because he thinks you're a lily pad. No, no, okay, okay. He will not hurt you. Come. Hold it. Hold it. Now watch. Now watch. You see it? It's divided. Now wait a second. Hold it now. Don't move. Michael ran away and got a frying pan. Whoa. Now, me and Michael are going to play It's a Bitsy Spider with a real spider. We're a little old, but nonetheless, we're going to play it anyway. Get ready. Your hand, then my hand, then your hand, then my hand. Get ready. It's a bit spider, crawl up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed spider out faster. But it's a bit spider, crawl up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed spider out faster, Michael. Well, you're getting ahead of me. It's a bit spider. This is fun when you play with a real spider. Oh. I haven't said yet. Petty. Pet. Pet. Baby. Just a second, we're not done. Come out and say hi, Kelly and the kids. Give daddy a hug. Hug. Good baby. Now. Put your arm out here. Prehensile tail. A tail that wraps around is called prehensile tail. In order to be a prehensile tail, it wraps around branches, tool, uses a tool. Now, what animal lives in the jungle has a prehensile tail? Monkey. Monkey. What animal lives in Hawthorne with a prehensile tail? Opossum. It is not possum, it is opossum. These possums made the headlines in a South Bay newspaper recently when a car was taken in for servicing. The mechanic found the problem. A pair of possums were nesting in the engine and had chewed through an oxygen sensor, costing the owner $250. The little guys were released back into the environment unharmed. How many babies can an opossum have at one time? 100, good guess, 18. Now, Kelly, feel Toby's feet touch. Toby's feet is on the back. It's as soft as a newborn baby's bottom. Toby uses palm olive. Now, no talking? I know. I'm gonna put Toby to sleep, watch. He's now asleep. You blow on Toby's tummy and he goes, Bleh. Now I raised Toby from a baby this big. Every two hours on there, I bottle fed Toby. I am Dada. Toby is called a kinkajou. Like a pinkachu, like Pokemon, but a kinkajou. From the deep jungles of Brazil, Central, and South America. 
Toby is an omnivore. He will eat plants, animals. He'll eat anything he gets his mouth on that tastes good. Many times in the jungle, they call him honey bears. He has a long tongue. He eats papaya, mango, guava, grapes, bananas, kiwis, watermelon, peanut butter, jelly sandwich, burrito, con pollo, arroz, frioles. <laughs> now, from this point on, Toby is going to imprint Kelly's voice. Do you know what the word imprint means? To remember, like this, look at me. If you take a mommy duck and a duck has eggs and the baby ducks hatch out, the first thing they see is what? You. No, they see the mommy duck. If the mommy duck walks away, the ducks will do what? Walk away. Walk away with him. But if you were standing there and the mommy duck was not there and the baby ducks hatched out and they saw you and you walked away, what would they do? Walk They'd walk away with you because you are now the mommy or the daddy. That is called imprinting. Now, say, Toby, wake up. Toby, wake up. Now, say, I'm now your mommy. Say, I'm now your mommy. I'm now your mommy. Now, pet him. Now, if you're going to listen to Kelly, give Daddy a hug. Hug. Good. Now, that means he has imprinted the voice. If Kelly says, Toby, wake up, look at you kids, and on the count of three, go to bed, do you think he'll do that? Yeah. You can count on it. Do not underestimate Kelly. She is a professional now. Kelly, say, Toby, wake up. Toby, wake up. Now you say, one, two, three, bed. One, two, three, bed. Bed. <laughs> Whoop. Everything. Plants, animals, and insects. There are over 30 different cultures in the world, the one-third of what they eat are insects. Many insects are made out of 60 to 70% protein. Congalolo, say it. I had a girlfriend named once Congalolo. She didn't have this many legs, though. Now, in English, it is called? Centipede. centipede. Good guess. No, it is called a millipede. This is Millie, and this is Vanilli. Very. Big ones like this can squirt juice up to two feet. The ones around here are going to be small, very small. Now, listen, Millie has almost 400 legs. The legs are like a hairbrush, so you girls can comb your hair. The boys or the girls, you can wear the Millie band. I keep bonito. The boys, you can wear the mohawk. But if you want to impress the girls, you wear the giant mustache. Now, what are these long things on Millie's head? Antennas are used for two things, touching and smelling. How far away can Millie smell vanilla? Six feet, good guess. Probably closer to two to three miles. What? Oh. Uh, Kathy, hand me uh, red. Actually, let's give Donald uh, Humphrey. Oh, no. Camera person. On the back, that's it. Nice. Uh, do you want to give Ashley a kiss on the finger? He says yes. If your finger wants a kiss, put your finger. It's okay, Ashley. Pat, it won't hurt you. Kiss. Looky. Uh, do you want to give Ashley a kiss on the nose? He's a silly lizard. He says yes. Yes. It will not hurt you. Look at me. You're afraid of nothing. It will not hurt you. Watch. Watch. He kisses. He... Okay, put your, put your arm here then. Put your hand. Get your kiss. Kiss. Good answer. But there is another reason right here. Why do you think it's split? It can smell, but why is the tongue split? Well, why not one ear in the middle of your forehead? Why do you have two? <sighs> so it can smell? It can smell both ways like you hear both. That's how big it is. Whoa. The three things I will teach you. Again, one, you learn to be afraid of nothing. It's a good habit. And if you read, you will not only get smart, but your vocabulary, you know what vocabulary means? Your words, it gets better. What? Uh, uh, Kathy, hand me a uh, red. Actually, let's give Donald uh, Humphrey.